Hey there, Guardians. So I want to share my favorite strategy for Golgoroth. I won't be going into mechanics because there are plenty of videos for that, so I'm going to assume that you know how the fight works and just want a good way to execute it. I like this fight because it's very flexible in how you approach it, hence why there's so many strategies for it. I personally don't like any strategies that use a single gaze holder because you end up with more enemies to clear out every time you lose his gaze than you have to. Some people will argue that with one gaze holder you have five people doing damage versus four. Where my argument to that is, yeah you have five instead of four, but with my strategy, you'll be in the pit a lot longer than with a single gaze holder, which more than makes up for in damage. If you have the right weapons, you can get him to half health within just one cycle using this strategy. Now this strategy is not as complex as the two gazer method because it requires a lot of moving parts in the fight to sync up. While this may be the most efficient strategy for damage, it is not that simple to pull off for beginner teams. Simple and efficient are the types of strategies that I like. So hopefully this helps out anyone that still may have trouble with Golgoroth. It's actually quite simple. You will have two gaze holders, but instead of them being on the left and right side of the room, they will be on the frontmost and the back cave areas. The reason for this is simple. It helps the gaze holders stay alive. Why? Well, those purple orbs that Golgoroth shoots at whomever has his gaze has a tendency to wrap around any obstacles they're using as cover and will come after them from different angles, making it difficult for them to stay focused on taking them out and watching the timer. It's better to be right in front of him and allow him to shoot those orbs directly at you with no cover in between. Also you create a lot of distance between him and yourself when standing in the front and back versus left and right. Now the role of the second gazer in the back cave is actually not to damage Golgoroth. When they have his gaze you are to use that time to set up for the next orb. Once that orb is down then the primary gaze holder doesn't wait and immediately takes it back. You will get through about three orbs before he closes his back and everyone has to get out of the pit. First you take out the two front orbs, then either left or right middle orb, doesn't matter which. So the rotation is second gazer grabs his gaze first. You can shoot his feet to get his attention if the gaze grabber doesn't have a good angle. Then everyone takes down the first orb. Primary gaze holder gets the gaze back immediately. Then everyone does damage until about two seconds left on the timer, where at that point the secondary gazer will take the gaze. During that time, everyone shoots the second orb down. Once down, the primary gaze holder takes it back immediately. Team does damage until two seconds left, and the secondary takes it back. After the third orb, everyone jumps out of the pit and clear the enemies as fast as possible. Then get into position and wait for the secondary gazer to grab his gaze before anyone shoots the first orb for the next cycle. Well, that's all there is to it. I've used this strategy to help out many random groups who are average players having trouble beating Golgoroth. And even experienced players are preferring this because of its simplicity. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to share, like, and subscribe to my channel for more Destiny content. My name is Chit, and I approve this message.